That's a drone making that startup noise, and seconds later, it's flying above this park, recording video along the way. Oh yeah, it's a blast. For Sean Koval, it is fun, but also a business. Sean is a longtime freelance photojournalist covering big stories for ICTN and also has a production company called Haywire Studios. He uses drones in his work to get shots like this. And make our production value a little higher. He knows a lot about drones and has some at home, too. <laughs> My little boy, he loves to fly his Millennium Falcon. <laughs> And then he also has this tiny drone. But my dog's pretty afraid of it. <laughs> While the small, lightweight ones are not much of a safety concern, Sean says sometimes people may be too quick to try out one of the larger drones. These things can be unpredictable. Our message is one of safety. The Federal Aviation Administration called reporters out to DFW Airport on a foggy morning to spread the word about drone safety and registration. Our primary purpose for registration is to encourage people to get educated, to learn the rules. That's because the same drones catching beautiful sweeping shots and inspiring creativity can sometimes go wrong. You okay? <laughs> YouTube has a lot of examples of what can happen to drones that either fail or are not operated properly. Sites like these lead to a big safety advisory. Always make sure that you're operating in a safe area. For instance, don't fly over people. Also, the FAA prohibits drones from being flown more than 400 feet in the air. Most people probably won't do that because that's even higher than the top of Williams Square. And there's another thing for Irving residents to know before flying a drone at any height. What do people in Irving need to know about being so close to the airport? If you live within five miles of an airport, you want to make sure that you notify the airport and the control tower that you're going to be operating. If there's a safety problem, the control tower is going to let you know. A lot of Irving is in areas affected by those restrictions. The zones around both DFW International Airport and Love Field cover part of the city. Residents living closest to DFW should call 972-615-2509 before flying. And for people closest to Love Field, it's 214-353-1502. Obviously, you don't want to have a situation where a small aircraft ends up running into a larger aircraft or in some other way causing problems for safety. In 2015, the FAA reported more than 1,100 cases of pilots spotting drones flying close to aircraft. There have even been a couple of cases here at DFW Airport that caused runways to be shut down for a short time. Yeah, there's this app called Hover. Sean uses an app to help him keep track of where it's safe to fly. It shows this spot near his Tarrant County home is just outside of a restricted area. If people know that there's a safety issue and they think about it, they're not going to do something deliberate. So far, the FAA has not reported any concerns about drones connected to any kind of intentional attack locally. Penalties are possible for violators, as well as owners of unregistered drones. The law allows for up to $27,500 for not registering an aircraft. Uh, in criminal cases, it could involve uh, three years in prison. For now, the FAA wants to focus more on education, making sure users know how to properly and lawfully operate a drone. Registration is at FAA.gov. It costs $5. What you'll be issued is a unique identification number. That number should be put on your drone in a visible place. Then whenever you operate it, you need to make sure that you have your proof of registration with you. Sean understands the reasons behind the rules and hopes his fellow drone operators will use care while flying. Be responsible and you know, follow the guidelines, they're there for a reason. We want people to have fun, but we also want them to be safe.